Hi Capricorns, welcome back to the channel guys. Let's see what your person wants to talk about this week for our conversation. We're using Hush Tarot. I'm also feeling pulled to use Valentine Wellness in conjunction with the Hush Tarot. Then to go deeper and get clarification on things, we'll use Heaven and Earth Tarot. And of course, the Big Mama message deck, both sides of it. I have pre-shuffled. I remembered to do that, y'all. Yes, I did. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. Let's see if I pick up your energy there. See who's coming forward. The strongest for my Capricorns this week. And just a reminder, guys, if y'all need to flip the energies in this reading, flip them, you know, however you take it. Yes. It's for my Capricorns, their person. What are they wanting to talk about? We going to talk about this week. Capricorn's person. Ooh, got one standing up. Oh, I'm holding upside down. I'm throwing shade, y'all. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Mm. Seven of Pentacles is about patience, nurturing something to bring it to fruitation. But during, during the time that we're nurturing it, we go through uh, the emotions, the thoughts of... Is this really worth it? <laughs> Is it ever gonna gonna happen for us? Let me turn this deck up right y'all. Mm -hmm. See what else. So we're gonna talk about patience and the frustration that comes with it. Uh, six of swords moving forward away from the storm, moving away from stormy times. It's card of passage, sometimes travel. And then we have an Eight of Pentacles, Perfection, working on something, trying to perfect something. Wow, okay. Let's pull the Island Time Wellness, get a little bit more on this energy. Let's see that Seven of Pentacles, what's right here. We've got the Sword in the Rose, Clarity, Truth, Revelation. Mm -hmm. Solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Mm. Getting clarity and truth. Waiting on a revelation. Let's see on that six. That six has got my attention. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Oh, okay. Let's see the perfecting something. Wanting to perfect something. Devotion and dedicated to something. Karmetic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Ooh, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment. Ooh, let's go deeper on this. That's interesting. Yes, it is. Guys, let me move some of this out of my way. Let's see what they're going to say on... That uh, seven of pentacles, that frustration, but also I got a feeling they're sticking with it because that dedication and devotion that comes in on that perfectionism over here on that eight of pentacles, mm -hmm. trying to perfect and moving away from the storm, getting in sync with each other. Got love, new love, blessings, my cup overfloweth. Uh, not overflowing too much, is it? Because we got a five of cups. That's a disappointment feeling left behind. A card of grieving like you've lost something. And they're not wanting to let go. Four of pentacles, possessiveness. To, they won't want to let go of the past. Somebody doesn't want to let go of the past. Um, for some of us, sometimes it's six of pentacles. Guys, it's six cups. Sorry. Sometimes that six of cups can represent children. For some of us, there may be children factoring into the connection. Mm -hmm. But somebody definitely doesn't want to let go of the past. Don't want things to change. They're having anxiety about it. They definitely don't want things to change between you. Because mm -hmm. it's a card of change and acclimating new changes. And truth, truth. Healing, happiness, clarity, but it's coming across as truth. The truth is they don't want things to change. Mm. Okay, so like I said, someone is, you know, being very 
persistent, but also frustrated questioning. Uh, is it ever going to work? Something ever going to work between us? Let's see what they're saying about that Six of Swords. Princess of Swords. A Page of Swords. Hmm. Overthinking things. Fighting the wind. Fighting their thoughts. We'll go, I'll pull on it because our Page of Swords normally uh, represents subconscious message for me. We've got High Priestess. Intuition. Wheel of Fortune, things have definitely changed. Hmm, what else? Feels risky though. I'm not because most of the time you know Wheel of Fortune is a card of luck, but it can also feel risky. Uh, lovers, Gemini commitment. Hmm. Tell me about the risk here. What feels so risky on that Wheel of Fortune? The change. There's something that has changed. The death card. Scorpio energy. It's a natural occurring change. It feels like a heavy burden. Everything feel, feels chaotic and confusing. Oh, more risk. Oh, lack of faith on that full card. Mm. Tell me the subconscious message here. Let's type into this subconscious message. You know what? I don't... Call the energy on the deck. Let's pull a different deck here. I want a full deck for this person to talk with. On that subconscious. We'll use the Gilded Tarot. This is my Capricorn's person. Subconscious message. What is that little page bringing us? Let's dive deep on this. Let's hear what that message is. What, what's that monkey brain chatter telling them? Seven of Cups. Overwhelmed with making choices uh, under a heavy load and burden. I, they don't like making choices. Trying to look strong, feeling like everything's working against them with that strength card. Trying to exhibit some inner strength. Tell me about the choice. Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius energy, the mover, things moving too fast. Ow, Knight of Cups, challenged. Feeling challenged. Tell me about the challenge. Ooh, your person's subconscious message gets deep. It's running like roots to it. So you're going all over the place with it on an uh, emotional level. The challenge is that four of wands. Feeling supported. Mm -hmm. What else? Libra. Fairness. Truth. Clarity. Ooh, what else? Seven of Swords, feeling like everything is always taken from me. Always taken from me. Oh, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all with that Wheel of Fortune. What am I, what else am I hearing, guys? What else am I hearing? There's something else. We got the five down here. Nobody really cares what I think or feel with that one. Okay. Mm. So let's go to what they're trying to perfect. Because it's like we're getting, you know, they are definitely being triggered. Triggered. Just the subconscious uh, message, seeing that subconscious monkey brain chatter. It branches off. It's like roots that just branch off in all different directions. It, every time a card would pull, it would trigger another card, another emotion, another thought. I mean, it, it's like a whirlwind of stuff going on for them in the subconscious. Let's see what they're wanting to say on that perfection, perfecting something, devotion, dedication. Libra, just this again. Getting some recognition um, with the Three of Pentacles. Self-restricted, indecisive, climbing on indecisions, uh, feeling stabbed in the back, let down. Their thoughts are like torturing them. But it may be coming across as what everybody else thinks or what everybody else is doing to me that's making them feel defeated. Indecisive. Tell me about making decisions here. So we're picking up uh, something... Something here on decisions. Feeling overwhelmed. I'd rather. It's, you know how you ask somebody. 
Where you want to go to eat tonight? You're going out to eat. Where you want to go? And they go wherever you want to go. They can't even make a decision about where to eat. They're like, you choose. You choose. You choose. You make the decision. We're picking up something on that. Yeah, they feel stuck when it comes to making choices. Ah. Uh, don't want to let go. Don't want to lose something. And they feel chained. Ooh. They're very much into, like, people pleasing. I don't know how else to put that. Of whatever you want kind of situation. And that, that can be, you know, like I said, down to small things like choosing where to eat. It's just making choices. This person is having problems being able to make choices because they feel like they make, if they make the wrong cho wrong choice, that's what our four pentacles was representing. If I make the wrong choice, I could lose you kind of thing. So that's something they've carried over from childhood of uh, uh, being afraid to take responsibility and any repercussions that come with making choices. You know, uh, mistakes weren't allowed to be mistakes when they were kids you can pretty much tell that um it was like if they made a mistake they were they were verbally lashed out at reprimanded as if they intentionally done something when it was just really a mistake and it, that causes trauma and you carry it forward with you it makes it really hard for you to to I uh, feel embold and confident to be able to make decisions. So this person has definitely carried some baggage on that. Let's see what they're wanting to uh, say on each one of these. Mm, it's for my Capricorns person. What are we saying on that frustrating card of frustration? Patience. But frustration at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They probably say I'm sorry a whole lot too without realizing it. I'm struggling to open up to you. They would be struggling to open up to anyone. It's hard for them to open up to their self. So they're very overly self-conscious. Do you, do you think we could start over? <clears throat> Let's see what's happening in the going to say on that uh, six of swords moving away from the storm. Uh, with that one, I really feel like it's bringing a deeper message of your person. Try, they run emotional, mental, sometimes maybe even physical, away from drama and conflict. They can't handle any any kind of conflict or, you know, stress like that. I can't think straight right now. Yeah, they have a hard time thinking straight when they feel like they're done something wrong. And mistakes, yeah. The carrying the weight of the world on them. You're stalling. You're stalling. Ooh. I would give anything to hold you. You're stalling. I can't think straight. You're stalling. I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you're stalling as if you're saying it to them. That might be echoing through their their head, their thoughts. What else? I have abandonment issues, yeah. Let's go ahead and come over to their trying to perfect something. Perfect, feeling like they need it to be perfect. When we get into that energy, sometimes it can come across as somebody, uh, they're afraid to make a choice because they already feel like they're going to make a mistake. They're not, it's not going to be perfect, so they don't, they don't do anything at all. I didn't mean to hurt you. <clears throat> Didn't mean to hurt you. What else? Why haven't you responded to me? Mm -hmm. What else? Ooh, I'm going to get two here. Don't want to let go of me. Please be patient with me. Please don't judge me. Ooh. Okay, guys, let's rotate the deck so I know which side to pull from on the next round. Now, let's go back to the tarot. This is for my Capricorn's person. Let's continue the conversation, please. Capricorn's person. What else are you talking about? What else are you talking about? The High Priestess. <clears throat> this person is highly intuitive. 
Mm, there's some we come with with uh, issues like they're carrying from childhood. They they they've tra trained themselves into um, extreme levels of intuitiveness to read other people's energy, to so that they'll feel safe. What else? Eight of Cups. Mm, sacrifice, sacrifice, disappointment, unfulfilling, emotionally unfulfilling. <clears throat> then, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Ooh, working on it every single day. Virgo energy brings in daily routine. This person obsesses over perfecting everything, uh, doing everything perfectly. Dissatisfaction moving away. Moving away. Mm. What did? What was that one? Our um, frustration. High priestess. Let's pull the heaven earth there. Go deeper. Let's see what they're going to say on that high priestess. Just, they withhold a lot. They don't divulge a lot about their true feelings <clears throat> and their true thoughts. They may be prone to tell you just what you want to hear to avoid conflict. Tell me about the intuitive, your intuition. Very secretive, but you know what you know. Oh, print, a page princess of pentacles, the babe that doesn't like to jump in the love arena. Knight of Wands, mover, shaker. What else? Protecting garden, seven of ones that's a, a you know a guard protect courage it takes courage oh feeling supported in that um four of wands energy because they're not really guarding and protecting they're just not tell me about that uh princess of pentacles the babe that doesn't want to jump in the love arena the magician energy not sure not sure hang on guys we're getting deep here we're, we're hitting some of your per, your person's deeper truth here they're not sure about being in love relationships they feel like they are easily manipulated uh, they have been had people that have recognized uh, their I want to say their weakness and know how to pull their strings in. They're constantly feeling like they need to guard and protect themselves, but they probably don't feel like they can. Mm -hmm. Tell me, hold on. Lovers' commitment. Mm -hmm. They don't like getting into committed relationships. It, they want to, but they don't want to. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about your Knight of Wands. Opportunity. Ooh, card of charity, give and take, love, love. Ooh, with that one, mm, tell me some more. Fairness, justice, blinded though, blinded, overwhelmed by choices. Ooh, five of pentacles, anxiety. They constantly have anxiety, especially when it comes to... Um, <clears throat> Like I said, they've been in connections where somebody has really took advantage of uh, the fact that they they avoid conflict and they will always be like, well, you just choose. They won't really tell you their, their thoughts, their desires, what they want is really hard for them to. Um, they'll tell you what you want to hear and um, that kind of thing. Somebody's took advantage of it big time, big time. Mm-hmm. That what they're saying with that uh, Knight of Wands energy, they attract people that are too overbearing, too fiery, and they come across as too, uh, how do I put it, they end up feeling like this person just overrides everything and doesn't take them in consideration because they always end up with the lack, the lack mentality, the anxiety, things don't feel fair for them simply because they're not making the choices for themselves. Oh, 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 and they always feel like they have to protect their self and that they're not really getting a lot of support. Let's see what they're going to say on that four of wands. Mm -hmm. 
for this person, they want to be in a love relationship, a connection. They really want to be. But at the same time, they're torn because they're like, it's too, it's too much for me. Chaos, confusion, yeah. Freedom, I want my freedom, but I'm afraid to have my freedom. And King of Cups, Scorpio energy. It's hard for them to envision a future without being in a relationship. It scares them to be alone. Tell me about that, Scorpio King. Change scares them. Big time scares them. Mm -hmm. And heartache. They're in constant heartache. They don't voice it though. They don't share the true, their true heartache. And they don't share their true desires. Because if you get an inkling or your own intuitive gut feeling that this person is not happy being in a connection with you. Um, they would sense and know that you've picked up on their energy and they will quickly uh, alter their energy. They know how to manipulate uh, the energy to make it appear like, oh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy when they're not. It's hard, hard for them. Yeah. Let's see what else. We've got that Knight of Pentacles. No, let's go, let's go into this because it's passage and a uh, point of turning point. Let's see what they're going to say on that. The Empress sit down energy. They don't do anything. They don't take action on what they really want. Introspection, Virgo, they have been considering what they truly want. They don't know how to tell the truth, uh, share their truth because they're overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. Tell us, you want, let's see if they want to share it with us. You want to share it with us? You want to share it with us? Walk through the cards. You can share it. Right here. Rest, recuperation, clarity, private, privacy. When we hit that four, change. They've had a, a change. Something has changed. They will tell us that about uh, the connection. They're feeling a change, but they're in private mode. They don't want to, they're not going to go in and into it and tell us details of what they've been holding back on. So, let's go ahead and move to the Knight of Pentacles. We're going to respect the Four of Swords energy when somebody says it's private. Let's just disrespect it. Hopefully, they'll get the courage to share it with you face to face. Knight of Pentacles. We've got a Knight of Cups. Action with little action. They're feeling overwhelmed, subconscious fears, following their heart, but subconscious fears and Princess of Swords. Page of Swords. Let's see the subconscious message, please. Opportunity. Go. My ship is. I've let the ship uh, sail away without me too many times. Things are done and over. Support. Support. Celebration, support, honor, respect. Overthinking things. Queen of Cups. Oh, Cancer energy. Ooh. Just with these cards, guys, the, that four of wands... This person stay is maybe staying in a connection when they're very dissatisfied. They they feel like it's time for them to go. Subconscious message: time to go. My ship's left without me too many times. It's time to go. It's over. But they're staying out of a sense of loyalty, loyalty of what they think they should do. Because when they want to follow their heart, the this comes in. They can't do that. They're they're in inner conflict between their thoughts, their logic, and their heart. So, yeah. So, I'm going my Capricorns. Hopefully, that will give somebody confirmation of what they already intuitively know on this person. Let's go ahead and pull messages. Let's see what they want to say. If there's not them wanting to go, really needing to go, then they would, the subconscious message would be, their brain's telling them, you've reached that point and you're just being kind and staying out of some kind of sense of loyalty to them. That is the reason you're holding yourself back. So, I mean, it's either way. It should give you confirmation either way. 
High Priestess, my heart is hurt and bruised, but I won't give up. Oh. What else? Anything else on that one? I can't imagine life without you. Mm -hmm. That gets scary. What else? What else? What else? Ooh. It's right here. I know what I want. I want you. Mm -hmm. Just one more with it. I'm worried there is someone else. Ooh. So that might be on that subconscious message that uh, their brain is telling them you're the one going, my ship's leaving without me again, and you're wanting to move move on. Let's see what they're going to say. My fingers on it, y'all. My fingers won't work. Let's see what you're saying on that Eight of Cups. I ended it with my karmatic. Karmatic relationship. You rejected me, it still hurts. I want to be someone you can rely upon. Mm -hmm. Let's come over to our Knight of Pentacles. See what they're going to say. You're unforgettable. I'm scared of what's ahead. I fantasize about you and long to be with you. We got another one. I don't blame you. Is there anything else? Yep, right here. My fingers on it. This love is too intense. Mmm. Capricorns. Let's push up and get your person to focus in on a deck to give you a final message. Whatever deck they want. Final message, please. Oh, we're going with the shadow end of the index cards. Wasn't expecting that one. But we'll go with it. My Capricorn's person. I really want to say final message. I'm sorry. I would only be an embarrassment for you. Forgiveness. Is there anything else? Anything else? Right here. I'm becoming the person you deserve. Don't give up on me. Anything else? I'm afraid I can't give you what you need. I got one more, guys. Last one. There were two more. Come out with two. I don't want to see you with anyone else. There is no greater punishment than not being able to hold and touch you. Aww. Okay, my Capricorns, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.